Such a really nice calming song. It kind of slightly, uh, it reminds me of something. I can't tell what it is though. Dang it. Well, hold on, let me adjust my volume. I just realized last stream I did this morning, you can hear me chewing the whole time. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make it to where my microphone does not pick up that much noise. Sad as it is, my chair is still very creaky. But I think that should be fine. Let's put back on the filter thingy. That probably will be good. What's the compressor do? Testing, testing. Nah, no, that just, just stays the same. Hold on. No escape. Oh, what is this? What is a ducking source? I don't know how to do that. Close threshold, open threshold. What does that mean? Let's test this out. Nope, that does not work. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Test. Confused by this. Well, I mean, if anything, it just blocks out the white noise. I just have to make sure I talk in full sentences and nothing in quiet syllables. <laughs> yeah, that should be fine. Oh wait, I forgot. I wanted to show my picture of Safi's real quickly. Actually, I think it's fine if I don't have this on. I'll put in a noise filter thingy if I eat. That'd be probably a good idea. But since I am literally just talking, it is fine. I was really happy with how much I progressed in Safi's commission today earlier, so I wanted to show what I've got so far of it. Hold on. Knit. Yes, sir, place. Okay, I have not literally colored the boot. <laughs> that's the only thing that's not colored right now. This looks so weird. Yes. Source. Documents. And there we go. Oh, dang, it's huge. Well, as you can see, that is Safi's thing so far. I'm so happy with how I did the design of my pants right there. Yeah, I got like all the halfway uh, colored and everything this morning. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And they are too. I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna be doing like I did right here. Hold on, where is it? Like, I'm gonna be doing the coloring, the light hair, stuff like that for dark hair. Which is gonna be really hard because Sappy has a blackish bluish hair here. I, I, it's gonna be a good challenge. I'll definitely say that. But yeah. I am looking forward to finishing. Because this will be technically my second uh, Genshin picture I've done. And I'm very happy with how it's turned out. I uh, cannot wait till it's done. Then I can work on the other ones I have finished. And yeah. All right, let's do, let's get on to uh, some Star Rail. I'm so sorry, I forgot that. 
just wanted to show off what I that I am still working on the pictures and everything, and that I'm getting them done. And play. Here we go! We're gonna journey the stars, find some trash cans to talk to, and cause chaos. Cause who doesn't love chaos here? Ooh, and I got me some apple coke. Or Cidral Mundet. Or Mundet. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But it is delicious apple coke. I wanted to play some more Star Rail since this morning. I didn't really get to do that much because of that phone call I had to do. So I wanted to do some more right now. Because I didn't get to do that much. And because dang it, I wanted to play more. <laughs> so here we are. Finding trash can lore in the stars. And also getting permission slips to go into this place. Beep boop. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. I don't think it talks. <gasps> oh, it's just nice. Protocol. Inish, nish. Your cannon. Thank you. I am hopefully failure. your cannon. Also, welcome, Mindo. I hope you're doing good today. Not encouraging. System restoration oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome damage. to this one, Kingdom Mindo. We have cheese puffs here. Eliminating activated. Initializing combat module. I'm loving this game. <laughs> I love it so much. No more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Wait, what? I got distracted. We're doing a fight now? What? Oh, well, okay. Uh, I guess we're doing this now. Oh, good. She, she fight this one. I adore this game. I am so happy I got the early access thing to it. Ah, it's so great. I love it. We're just having fun. Batter up. Take this. Oh, wait, wait, I can use our power. Rules are made to be broken. Sampo best. <laughs> I mean, I thought at first Sampo is horrible, and then he's like one of those characters you're like, okay, fine, I like his character afterwards, you know. He he grew on me. And he didn't. It's like it's weird. He makes us fight his battle. But in reality, I'm playing as him right here in the game. He fights really good. Why does he cow away from a fight and make us do it? <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. I love Sarah. She's so cool. It's my tempo. We're just having fun. And. <laughs> How to behave now? Dang, Sila. Let me try and reset its system. Sila? Sila. I never know the right name. system online. Please extend your right hand. Oh, why is it always me? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. How come it hurt even more than the other two? <laughs> I don't think I'm famous or no. anything. I think I'm now, right? just here. <laughs> Barog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Come on, come on. There you go. Also encountered a weird rapping thing around here, or someone just singing and everything. I'm convinced it's someone who went to a part of this game and got like got their music or something advertised. I, I thought it was cool. <laughs> I mean, a whole clip of it and everything. It's hard to explain. It's like as much as like it's hard to explain the trash can lore in this game. It's just wonderful and weird. <laughs> Here we go. Open sesame! 
<laughs> not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... What closet yeah, thing? Yeah. Thank you very oh, the much. weird closet thing? Yeah, that thing I'll was so weird. <laughs> no need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning. If you now. mean the one in the Everything hotel place in this game, yeah. Is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? <laughs> Let's go! Wait, what's this? Oh, not authorized to use the lift. I was waiting for it to activate. A gate? I guess we can't go down there yet. Why is there another gate here? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? How loud is my microphone? Huh? Sampo? Oh, great. Sampo, where'd you where go? Is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. It's that same type well, of hello, robot again. Thing. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol Beep, oh. initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Uh, wait, hold on. Who's a, who's a good boy? Here's our certificate. We just want to see your master. <laughs> Careful, this one might have a few tricks up his sleeve. Let's do that. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? I don't know. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Ah, uh, Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? She's Sparag's family. Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. <clears throat> I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be That's pitch black. Clark. To me, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> it wasn't as fun as you think. That town went down the bed there. That town was danger lurking at every corner. Indeed. And that little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. It doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Not a good point. Lan? What is Lan? Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Oh, give me the treasure! <gasps> Trash cans! Dang it. What? Who's saying that? Oh lord, they are huge, aren't they? Oh, 
Oh wow, everyone's Let's got that power right now. Ready to lose yourself? I love this. Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. Yes. Good omens. Fight us one. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you got to make it worth my while. I never really understand what Customers he says. Customers are always welcome. Um, let's improve someone else's fight. Hey, almost be gone. Pretty good crowd today. One minute. Here. And use this part. Keep up with my tempo. <laughs> Dang. I can never use my finger there. <gasps> well, that was a fast battle. Oh, dang. No. All the best. Rules Here we go. Be broken. Decisive strike. Dang. This song's just for you. Let's rock. Try this on for size. Better up. Oh man, I love that power up thingy. I'm keeping the other girl in here. She's very powerful with us. She helps me uh, uh, triple my damage. Ooh, what is that? Looks like a coffee bag. Oh no. Um, yes. Be gone. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. We're just having fun. <laughs> Let's make it quick. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Oh. Hmm, let's do this one. Dang. I love how much we're upgraded now. <gasps> Shockingly, nothing here. over here Ooh. I've been in this area before I think Clara's here again wait what's that Oh no, was this Clara? This robot that was following Clara around? Oh no, it was Clara, all right? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Oh no. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop I think it's obvious. Target must be eliminated. Oh, wait. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Alright, let's lead the way. I wish I can help repair it, though. Oh, wait, wait, wrong way. Oh, wow, you're huge. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. Why do you know where she's far? We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Do we, though? Do we? No, we do not. <laughs> We're in 
in trouble now. All the best. <laughs> We're definitely in trouble. A thousand wonders to raise your good omens. Fight us one. This song is just for you. Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Well, I mean, it did something of a damage. So cute. Let's rock. Sounds like more business knocking. <laughs> and all of this, not one bit. Rules are made to be broken. Can I all heal, um, wait, can I heal any of my teammates? Uh, can I? No. Um, yeah, I don't know how to heal during this battle thing. Cast any of that, what, what does this do? This song's just for you. <laughs> Try it this on for size. Yeah, that Let's much go. damage is being done. I think we're going to die. <laughs> I don't know how. Turn up the volume. Simple. Come on. Always takes care of his friends. Okay. Oh, okay. That's being somewhere. Nope. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Oh no. The show. Must no. They were already supposed to lose because we're dying. Oh no, we're not supposed to. How am I supposed to use consumables? They won't let me. How? Am I supposed to do it beforehand? Consumables. Okay, we're going to use cards for technique points for the team. Worthless things are beautiful in their own way. Exactly. We're going to use one of these for. Oh, yeah, just to confirm. There we go. I'm going to use this. I, I want to. S... Hopefully, this will do it in the middle of the game. I'm hoping. Let's go. Come on, please don't die. Just a scratch. That is not a scratch. It's, th it's still not when we do it. I? It's I? Well, we're in trouble now. Huh. <gasps> no, wrong one. any of the other buttons have to do with that? Wait. No, I don't want you to fight! Yeah, sure. Not, I don't know how to do consumables. Sounds like more business knocking. Maybe it's not finished yet in making that product thingy. 
select target, switch ability, cast. How do you consume while during this? Shift, back button, pause button. Oh, wait, hold on. Character quality. Oh, that's the setting controls. Here we go. Yeah, that doesn't show anything about eating food. I think that's for later on, probably. Try this on for size. Let's go. Perhaps that's true, probably for Aster during this. It's Aster. Okay, Asta. Support. Yep. Just keep spamming the t uh, the big attack thingy on Karaki. <laughs> <Let's rock. laughs> Let's make it quick. I think we're going to die again. Batter up. Actually, better yet, we're going to retreat. We'll do that in a minute. I'm going to, real quickly, fix my characters. Wait, another friend request. I still don't know who this is. Um, store. I have a thing almost for this. Almost. Let's see, characters. Let's do some leveling up. We really need to do that first. Equilibrium. Can I say the word? I don't know how to upgrade that part yet. Servo cannot be ascended till then. Pants? No. Not. Relics. Ah. Oh, those are the relic things. Cool. Wait a minute, if I actually remove these, this, switch, trade this one, no, 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 trade this for this, <gasps> I did it, hold on, can I actually make something from these? Did I get that achievement? <gasps> yeah, I got that achievement thingy, yes! <laughs> oh, those are fancy. Sadly, you can't de decorate your characters, but that is cool. You get those still. Claim, claim, claim. Okay, let's do the store and buy some of those things. Or one of them. <laughs> 70 something. I don't need any of these right here for like 70 something. Hmm. Nope. And I only have four of those. Oh, wait, man, I can buy her right there? Man. You got like nine days to do that right there. I really want her character. She looks adorable. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, we were upgrading. Servo has these right here. Can I actually upgrade these? These like uh, increases defense, increases max damage and absorbed by the shield created by the wearer thingy. I'm gonna actually uh, upgrade these things real quickly so she can stay more protected. There we go. That is max level for that. Keep in Hanson. Spamming it. There we go. Let's 
a level three now. Um, hmm. Let me see. I need to really upgrade mine, but I think I used all my stuff to upgrade everything. Let's see. Can I buy these? Where can I get these actually? Currently owned. Um. Sandy is cute. Sandy, who's Sandy? Unless this is another the joke thingy. Welcome, Radiant. Hope you're doing good today. I do not know Sandy. Okay, that's really me. Okay, I was confused. I was like, what does Sandy mean? I mean, to be fair, if you put I and L next to each other and the, the lettering like that, it does look like two eyes. But, well, thank you very much for that. Oh, welcome, Red I didn't I did not saw you. Welcome. I hope you're doing good today. My mind is half bugged because I'm trying to figure out how to work these dang things. <laughs> well, I, I don't know how to get these. I don't know if you can make these or something hmm salvage no it's not salvage the new sand sand dial pokemon card looks amazing i bet it looks adorable radiant most pokemon characters look adorable and then some of them look questionable <laughs> well i got some good armor at least so during this <sighs> I need to figure out how to upgrade myself. Before I can save Clara, I need to upgrade definitely. <laughs> I am too weak right now. <laughs> Speaking of upgrade, can I actually level up some more? <gasps> yes, I can! Doing good, just got home making uh, food, then hop on for some dailies. How was Honkai Star Girl? And how you got the Fox Girl? Oh, you got the Fox Girl. Yeah, she's really great. She actually helps you buff up your attacks and everything. It's really great with her character. I'm glad you're at home now, Rony. You can now rest and relax and do some dailies. I am relaxing so much more now. It's like, I don't know, weirdly, ever since my friend gave me their computer chair for right now, I think it's kind of helped me like not be so antsy during my streams because for some reason I sometimes feel like I have to move my legs or something like that while during it and I now can rock myself back and forth kind of sideways while I'm during my games and it kind of helps me relax more during my streams. I don't feel as antsy so that's good. It's nice. Oh come on. Can I level him up? Yes! <gasps> Perfect! Ascend! Finally! I can ascend someone! Hmm, that did nothing. Sampo or shampoo? There we go. Ooh. Traces. <gasps> oh my, I'm an imbecile. I forgot I need to keep an eye on these to re upgrade them. This is how they get more better at their fighting. Level up. Nope. Nope. Good, good. Natasha. I can't believe I have 12 characters already. It's unbelievable, I do. <laughs> that cannot be enhanced, so then. Sorcerals or hers. I think she can have hers upgraded. There we 
go. That cannot be enhanced afterwards. But we're getting more damage. Yeah, if I sit in the dining chair for four plus hours, my, my legs go numb, um, but not my computer chair. Yeah, that, that, my butt usually really hurts so badly by the end of my stream to where it literally feels horrible like standing up and everything. And uh, thankfully, it doesn't last that long. But still, it's like, uh, this chair is so comfortable. It's like, it makes you feel nice and comfy now. <laughs> it's so great. I was planning on buying a computer chair later in the future, but thankfully they just, they brought their chair up because my dog sat in it. So they brought it upstairs and then she wouldn't get out of it for like probably five hours because she just loved rolling around with everyone and just watching everyone in the chair. <laughs> it was adorable. And then uh, we kept the computer chair up here and then it snuck into my room and it was here ever since and they said it's fine, I can keep it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, I can now relax and spin in my chair and move my, move while just sitting here. It's nice. I don't feel so antsy. Wait, which one's okay, that's that. Okay. Well, yeah, it's great. I am at peace. Yes. There we go. Hers is like the windy looking symbol. I think I'm gonna have to probably go to other missions till I can do this from right here. This one's too high in levels. I, I don't know. I just might have to do some other ones talking to this one right here. That thing right there is such a high level right now. I've been killed three times by it. The RNG stats when you level the left like Genshin artifacts. Hold on, let me pull up and see if you can see it right here. I think they do. I think they could like increase your damage and everything. Like that, and then not to mention the traces right here are like the talent thingies for Genshin. Relics are exactly like the artifacts right here. Yeah, the, the light cones are like the weapons, actually, now that I think about it. These are the artifacts that they have, which I, I think it's adorable. They have, like, cowboy outfit things. <laughs> it reminds me of Cowboy, Be cowboy Bebop. That's what it reminds me of. Well, here we go again, partner. Now, since I can't do that mission thing right there... Let's go find a different one. Companion mission. Oh yeah, Julian. Forgot about that. Hook's in trouble? Oh, I'm doing this one then. Let's go find Hook. This will at least help us progress stones in the story and not be so late. stuck back there. Where to now? Jillian's like the little kid that roll, runs the underground mole kids. Not like literally they're literal moles, but they're like little uh, pickpockets and everything. Because they are they don't have uh, money, so they have to steal. <laughs> little charmer. Hmm, I'm going Snow White popping candy. Hi, Julian. Hi. Wait, who are you? Mom told me not to talk to strangers. We played hide and seek before, remember? Hide and seek. That doesn't ring a bell. Hey, did you mistake me for someone else? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook, the Great Sydney. Oh god! Uh, did I? Of course, I'm not Julian of a Thousand Faces. Oops, I revealed myself. <laughs> hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I just realized the thing's on auto. That's why I was going so fast. Hmm, fine. I'll stop messing with you. You're alright. I'm Julian. What do you want from me? Old Foreman's treasure. You! Hey, you! Oh. Stop! <clears throat> you are you now, now talk? Of the moles. Why didn't you say your lines before? Hook's little sidekick. Huh. I'm not 
Oh, imbecile, you couldn't talk. Uh, you know what? No, this ain't the time. Oh, now I can go back to auto now. We got trouble. The boss went to the great mine along with her Diggertron. And she refused to let any. I don't know why I want to say Diggertron. I want to say like did you do for some reason. <laughs> you have to go check on her for us. Why would she go to the mines? I still want to see Didgeridoo. Fursman is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, she even took her Diggertron. Is she preparing for a fight with the vagrants? Maybe. Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. Go check on her for us now. Who was Fursman? That's that right? He's Hook's daddy. And oh. he's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. He's like a great person. Don't worry, I'll go head over there. Are right, you good? <laughs> uh, I'll go head over there right Thank now. Thank you. Uh, please hurry. I just hope this isn't the thing where they're gonna pickpocket me while they're in us. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's see if they say anything. The dumpster stands silently, yet a hint of sinister comes through. The dumpster stands silently, yet it. Okay. They're very sinister. A scientist once said, when a dumpster is shut tight, it exists in the superstition of states where it is both devoid of trash and full of trash at the same time. That still makes no sense to me. But then again, I did help a scientist here, not to mention this daily mission this morning, where he makes the most ridiculous theories ever, so, yeah. <laughs> not many of the scientists make sense in this world. Sorry, I was taking a drink of my drink. Getting over there. Wait, how? Which way is this? Man, I can book it. The, the weird, like, look at this weird thing. That's the one thing I did complain about them, is to their weird running positions and how weird it looks when it runs around. It's kind of janky, so I'm hoping they fix it. Looks good. Mm -hmm. ha. Mm -hmm. Okay, just keep running, just keep running. Oh no, she's cornered. Calm down, calm down. We're all That's here to me. work for a living. Why not sit down and talk it out? Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat. You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we've lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <laughs> well, nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brutes! Don't bully my daddy! That oh, one in the hook. hook's way, she's oh, mean. <laughs> no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein. But I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. He's got a point. That's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Back off. I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. <laughs> well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Guys, get him! <laughs> You'll never lay a finger on Daddy without passing through Hook. Sorry, that rang me instantly. I have like, how many lessons do I got to teach you, old man? For the SpongeBob. <laughs> That's where it rang you instantly. The moles are here. Surrender now. <laughs> it's you. Come and help Hook. Oh, I will help. Another punching bag? Fine by me. I ain't no punching I'll bag. Your butts. Bring it, Elf. Oh, 
Flowers are always welcome. She is so pretty, and I love. I'm so happy I got her character. She's so pretty. All the best. She looks like a Genshin character, to be honest. I'm fine with that. Turn up the volume. Simple Koski. Oh. <laughs> Simple. You mean bosky, Sampo? <laughs> How dare you! Friends, shall we? Ending it now. Stand your faces. Daddy, are you hurt? Just a few scratches. A few scratches from what? You didn't you do the fight. Don't worry about me. I have Diggertron. No one can hurt she me. She has her diggery do. Good. <laughs> I don't That's know why. Good. I just keep saying that. And uh, you, young lady, are you hurt? Thank you for your help. Did, was it, wait, diggery do? I keep saying diggery do. It's didgery do. <laughs> oh man, I'm horrible even just saying it in general. <laughs> uh, I'll live. I'm too young to die. Either one of those works. I live. Quit acting tough, young lady. What I'll live. Your injuries must be treated right away. I barely got a scratch. Uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before. Can you remember you haven't right? looked up since your hands been in your face? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. It's no big deal. The conflicts between the vagrants and I the mining team have lasted for passion, quite a long which in time. reality it is. Uh, even if you have just uh, uh, temporarily mitigated our rather tense relationship, it is greatly appreciated. You're welcome. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. Old witch. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after, somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching, otherwise I might never see it again. Head to the clinic. Don't make her quarry. Uh, yeah. It's just a tool. Uh, I guess I should let. I it mean, go. I'm right here. I can look uh, for you. Let's head to the clinic. Ah, I love apple coke. Really good. Hit the bottle. Anywho. What was I doing? Oh yeah. So many things to grab. Wow. Wow. Let's go. I thought they were dead. For some reason I was like, lazy miner, they look dead. <laughs> it's time to wake up. Huh? Who is it? Oh, we meet again. It seems that we have a connection. Rumble. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Time to get up for breakfast. I haven't been all day. Breakfast? Mm hmm. I usually just have one meal per day. Isn't the meal first meal of the day called breakfast? It's not like I might die. I'm, look, I, I'm so alive and doing just fine. <laughs> Don't look at me with all that pity. It's nothing. By the way, why did you wake me up again? I'm curious. Uh, how can you live with such a small- That sounds kind of tacky. How can you live with such a small amount of money? Uh. Nah, I'm good. I'll leave him to his little life right there. He's happy as he is, I guess. It still seems like such a tacky question. I mean, to be truthful and everything, I myself grew up where I didn't have a lot of money and everything. And I was, I, I mean, to me, I think that's why I'm a person who's very easy to please in food. I literally get excited when I have just a piece of bread, because I love bread. <laughs> or just eggs. Because I grew up where we didn't have much nice. money for that stuff and everything. Now we do, thank, thank God and everything. A little too much because I'm a little, a little overweight, you know, and everything. But we're getting better with it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm easy pleased with that. If I literally had to live with only a measly amount of money in this house or here and just be my family, I'd be fine with it. 
I'm fine. Money's not everything. It's not the the most what's the word call for it I can live without it pretty much if I can literally afford to live without it and not spend anything I'm fine with it wait you know what I mean <laughs> you have to have money but you know what I mean <laughs> I'm horribly explaining all of this <laughs> oh what's this you got, it. you got it don't look at me <laughs> Well, the clinic's over here. I have a feeling a boss fight's gonna happen right here. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Aha. Right? We know. Oh no, I did press on it right. Okay, go back on that. Do. Yes. Gotta love Natasha. It's getting late. Where to now? Natasha! <sighs> I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm <laughs> talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves and ask her. <laughs> Dang hook. Uh, the boss is always right. We shouldn't indulge kids. Um, that's hard to. Uh, yeah. See? You sorry, are gonna Natasha. spoil that kid. I'm sorry. <sighs> that's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm. Hook understands. Natasha's like a mom. <laughs> the boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patients to take care of. See you later. Thank you, Natasha. Thank I wasn't you brave again. enough to tell her that. If it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. What happened exactly? <sighs> well... A few days ago, I found a geo marrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. I don't think you're being a traitor. Since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Aww. Daddy, are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. He looks old and sick, <clears throat> good lord. Who knows how long I can stay by your side. And he looks I dead in the eyes. I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy. Forget about it. As Forget soon as about it. From the mining team, I have nothing <laughs> to complain about now. It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. Um someone stole it? Yes, I remember the story. Like, I guess why did so. I even say that? It's an ancient relic that can detect geo marrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Well, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> yeah. Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look that says, Hook wants to talk to you outside the clinic now. <laughs> I love my character's voice so much. I so love it. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. <laughs> Her voice sounds really familiar. She... 
don't know why, but she reminds me of a Life is Strange character when she speaks. She said she just sounds familiar. And I love it. We actually talk in this game at times. It's getting late. Where to now? Wait! Hook needs you to help with something. I'm gonna guess we're going to go to achieve it. Leave it to me. Well, I haven't said what we're gonna do, but that's the spirit. You truly are an honorary member of the moles. <laughs> Detector is daddy's treasure, so I gotta get it back. You'll help me, won't you? Helping others is my passion. All right, then. I'll be waiting for you at the shelter in the mine, big sister. Aw, the big sister. I mean, <laughs> Aww. What is she just calling? Okay, got it. See ya! That is adorable. Hook, you are my little sister now. That is utterly adorable. I'm so happy I have Hook as my character. Speaking of which, now I want to equip her into my team thingy while I actually do this. So she fits more into the team. Maybe I'll do that. This still reminds me of the underground areas of the Attack on Titan game. What, did I say Attack on Titan game? I was meaning the show. <laughs> you to Sweta. She is daddy's most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. Hmm. I'm here to find daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people. Four people were not there. Hmm. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Wait, is, is my window's light shining? Oh, window's light. Is the sun shining my monitor? Uh, no, I think it's fine. Because it's, like, on my legs right now. Where's the light coming from? Weird. Uh, no one else was at the shelter during that time? Yes. I'm gonna check her. The shelter was usually crowded, so thieves would have had a hard time stealing things when everyone was around. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... Oh, my back. What? Oh, my back. Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. Hey, Rhea. We're doing they good all claim today. To not Thank you for the lurk. Hope you enjoy it. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. Obviously. The liar must be the thief. <laughs> Arrest everyone, interrogate them one by one. No. I agree. That's All not four spread suspects conflict are at the like shelter. <laughs> if you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Uh, adults are so <laughs> dishonest. Hook's gonna question them. I one love you, by Hook. One. You're you're adorable so much. Well, actually, I'm gonna be right back real quickly to see what that noise was. So until then, do enjoy the music. Hopefully, it plays long enough on it. Oh, that's okay. Be back.
Okay, I've returned. And it brought me back a, um, what's this called? Peppermint disc, yeah. <laughs> I found it along my journey. I'm going to close my curtains because I think it's making my room warm. Which my poor computer over there does not need more heat than it already has. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Let's get back to this chaos. Yeah. It's time to interrogate some people. Hmm. Wait. I'm only seeing three. Where's the fourth one? Oh, there it is. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. <laughs> I'm no thief. So nonchalant. Please. Better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. <gasps> Ooh, oops, I didn't notice it. Uh, what were you doing when the crime occurred? Mm, spacing out. Didn't she notice like anything. It. Hmm. What do you think of Mr. Furson? First, firstman. <laughs> Good man. But a bit of a cheapskate. Uh oh. Nope. What detector? Uh, hey, none. Would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. Nah, she's not the thief. Can we trust your hunch? Um. Well, it's the hunch of Pitchdark Cook the Great. Okay, well, I'll trust you, Hook. Let's try this person over here. Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? How Some dare you call her a brat? On manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. You definitely sound, <laughs> sh sound shady. That. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. Uh, I'm yeah. A cook. What else would I be doing? Don't you notice the smoky cooking smell all over me? I'm not that close it's to you. Just I'm that a sneaking I happen here. to be out shopping for ingredients at that time. Otherwise, who'd want anything to do with this kind of thing? Hmm. That old Furzman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. Okay, I, I mean, think he's I fine. I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. Something anyway, about him seems good and not. He found that vein by himself, so. I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the Okay, old yeah, this guy's guilty of something. Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman, I'll tell you a secret. The okay. helper over there, I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come Which out one? holding a box. See? Who is? Isn't he the Who most suspicious it? one? Hey Jazz, welcome! I hope you're doing good today. Ah, thank you. It's my little Genshin model, or technically my Honkai model in general. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad everyone loves it. Wait, who is the most suspicious one? Wait, it's not. Marina's right. You might be framing him. I believe you. I'll do that. <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. He's literally standing there next to a fire doing nothing. <laughs> Fine then, be that way, cook. We're gonna go bring your business elsewhere. Who one of you stole the box? Hmm? Hook? What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. Wait, what? Relax, we're just filling off, checking off all the boxes. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Ask away. 
It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Your voice sounds familiar too. What? Oh, I'll Nothing just think special. Him. <laughs> I just went out to get some fresh air. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi. Well, it is. But I swear, it's the truth. I think it's him. Or it's him. Mr. Firstman? He's a good person. Though. Oh, it. Uh, never mind. Anything no, else you'd no. like to add? I must sound very suspicious. But I really didn't do anything. You have to believe me. <sighs> I can't tell. Detector. No, I haven't seen anything. And I don't know anything. Oh my god, you Is know something, you don't have? you? Have I proven my innocence? You know something. Um. Uh, oh dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. It sounds like he's about to fart. <laughs> Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. God. Oh. Perfectly reasonable question. You know what a businessman values. You're gonna make me angry. <laughs> Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, God. I'll pay for that. You uh, need anger management. Well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. I have the right to remain silent. Okay, you're not helping anything, man. I withhold my opinion toward this question. You're not helping anything here, man. No comment. Oh, Guilty. You would... <laughs> I'll give you one more Level chance. Level 80 sample, please. <laughs> this beta in smart way in small. No. Uh, think carefully and give your answer to my fists. You little brat. Grow a couple of feet taller before you think about threatening me. <sighs> here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Um. Shh. Wait, what? I'll let you know, tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Um. Deal? Uh, sure. Ray. I like I your style. This. Customers who don't fuss over the price are the best. So what do you want to know? Ask oh wait, I'm way. rich. I can pay him. Um, I that. went into town to restock. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? I restock on a regular basis. Everyone knows that. I was wondering why there was nobody at the shelter. Now I'm confused. Bersman is an old customer of mine. He's pretty nice to me, though we are not so close. As to what he did about that Geomero vein, it was kind of unethical. We're all neighbors. We've known each other for a long time. But he sold out to the other side and left his own people out to dry. I really can't agree with that. Look, the cook is definitely the thief. I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can hmm. trust me. Why are you sure about that? In my line of work, I've learned to read people. And something's definitely fishy with that cook. I it knew it. Start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. So, do I ask anyone? Uh, Hook's head is spinning. Do you remember everything they said? No. Don't worry, I'll write it all down for you. <laughs> remember, among these well, four What the heck would you write down, Sweta? Sorry, Sweta. The cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook. And the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? Um, I don't know what to choose. I'm saying the cook, as people are mentioning a lot, but I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, boss hook. What do you think? I think the cook and merchant are the most suspicious. Yes, definitely. Or they were working together. They were working together. Even if you choose the wrong one, Hitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Hook, I'm right. worried for you. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. 
Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like there's something in this. Is there something in this that's obvious to the hint or what it is? The cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook and the helper said it wasn't him. I don't know. Ah. Um, I'm just gonna maybe say the cook? Maybe? I'm gonna do the cook. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, I don't know why, but... Don't I'll hook. Just please judgment. don't trust my judgment. Come on. Let's go accuse the culprit. I don't wanna. Of course, gone. Huh? The <gasps> so it was the cook. Uh, Pete's me. I saw him running out in quite a panic. Oh! <gasps> uh, it was him. Guilty. Where is he running off to? I trust my judgment. Probably trying to solve the spoils. Uh, so he's fleeing from justice, huh? I feel like I should be saying a, a tough voice. Oh well, yeah, I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. <gasps> Sampo, no! Surely Sampo is innocent. <laughs> That'd be a nice thing to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm giving the benefit of the doubts. I'm trying to do that at least. Mr. Sampo's always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. Look that he was really sick or something. He's working with the thief. And he's also a bad guy. I bet Sampo is not bad. Oh, <gasps> Sampo! My friend, are you How serious? dare you? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no. Why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. Or was he holding the up? stop right there. Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived. Sabo, what are you doing here? He's trying to sell you something that's stole. Oh yeah, boy. oh, snap, indeed. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> or sample, I guess he didn't I, know. I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please, don't point that thing at me. It's scary. <laughs> hey! How can you sell me out like that? We had a deal! You... You stole Daddy's treasure! Diggertron will not spare you. Oh, dang, Hook. <laughs> this, this is all that old Bursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair! Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so... Sampo. Maybe I should leave. <laughs> yeah, that's Hook right now, Ron. Um, there's no reason for you to steal it. <laughs> Sassy well, hand in the hip. What kind of a reason are you looking for? W with the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? Getting a job. <laughs> anyway, I got the device now. Come take it, if you have the guts. Oh, I have guts. You got some guts taunting us yourself. Guess you want to do this the hard way? Diggertron, get ready. Bam, 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 bam. I picture like fighting music like in uh, Nintendo stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wait, is that him right there? Vagrant? When did you get these robots? That's uh, power me up. She's so pretty. <laughs> this song's just for you. Keep up. It's my tempo. Dang, I've upgraded them a lot. Ready to lose yourself? 
Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Battle over. <laughs> that was over 900 damage. You should talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Where? Where are they? Wait, life is full of disappointment. Sorry, okay, dang, don't. Can it be repaired? Hey, don't be so depressing. This is Sampo's time to shine. You're still here? Of course. I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Thank you. Listen here. There's a fellow in Boulder Town they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics. He I like Sample's voice acting. Behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think I really like the voice acting. It's probably this game. worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. <laughs> this business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloween the uh, Miner Slam. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sample. Well, if it's worked for him, sure. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip. <laughs> Wait. So, oh. Okay, it's not that far. Oh, never mind. Okay, I have to go to the map. Boulder Town. We go over here. Excuse me. It's getting late. Where to now? Here we go. The miners' name has stopped all appraisal services. The announcement. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. The announcement has all the details. Please leave. Praise of what? Are you here to cause trouble? Wait, hold on. Are you even outside? Everyone's talking about your story. <laughs> no wonder you don't know me. That was embarrassing. Please excuse me. My name is Balloway. I'm an expert in relic appraisal. People call me Miner's Lamp. Nice to meet you. Anyway, effective from today, Miner's Lamp's Balloway will stop at all appraisal services. Is that why you're here? I'm sorry. Or do you have other business? I was wondering if you could have a look at this detector. I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics. Why so must they just do the voice acting afterwards? Some kind of for precious the treasure. Oh, look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Ooh, oh, peppermint oh, this. this. certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Ow. Uh, yes, look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device, I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair, but still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? Hmm. Can we trust your appraisal? The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Now, it's nothing more than a pile of junk with no practical value. I'm willing to offer a generous price for this thing, so do you want to sell it or not? I don't want to sell it. I think we should go. Um... You crooked profiteer. Um... We should go, or should we just give it to the the dad guy and make him decide what to do with it? You know what? Let's do that. Hmm. All right then, let's go find daddy. It seems like a more logical thing. This guy's gonna rip us off, and he wanted us to sell it to him. So no, thank you. Oh wait, it's over here. Yeah. Where 
Where have you been, Hook? I was just about to go looking for you. Come on, let's go home. I'll cook some salt baked rock crabs for you. Oh. <sighs> What's wrong with this kid? She's been like this ever since just now. We, oh, okay, we'll just say it. Vein detector? The one I lost? Big sister and Hook helped Daddy catch the thief that oh, stole it. Oh, big sister now. But Daddy's detector is broken. It's all my fault. Only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. You're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Hmm. The geo marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. <laughs> but Daddy's treasure. Oh. <laughs> Don't cry, Hawk. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. Oh. It was never lost or broken. Is a adorable treasure indeed. Uh, even you know what it is. <laughs> the detector helped me find lots of geo marrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect. It was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is just a tool. A true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Exactly. Hook uh, doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. <laughs> so, the treasure daddy's talking about... ...is still happily running and jumping around. <laughs> daddy! Oh. <laughs> you... You're not allowed to see her cry! <laughs> Go away! Oh, well, I guess I'll leave them to that then. I'm still not leveled up enough to save Clara, so we'll have to stay it's with that late. for a bit. <laughs> Where to now? Did they earn anything from this mission? Nothing at all? I got like uh, a little bit right there, at least. Hmm. Ooh, did it earn any like friendship thingy with Hook during that? I did not. Okay. Recommended gear. Early the bed, early the rise. <laughs> no, I don't think it has any fun things. Hmm. Well, now what do I do for a mission? Uh, I think it's still too hard to do, but I guess I can attempt it again. Let's just try again. And if I die, then we'll try again. <laughs> Where is it? Go. Let's do this! Buenos bon Banda? We, uh, Nithil Architecture. Man, that's a long name. Welcome! Uh, I hope you're doing well, I think. I hope this works. There's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. She keeps saying that, but yet I keep dying. Oh, we're in trouble now. All the best. 
This song's just for you. Thousand wonders to raise your good yes. omens. I am now very much one. attack damage. <laughs> Hopefully this does enough damage though. <laughs> Uh, it's too cute for right now. I'm trying to save my hit. There we go. Mm. It did some damage, but not at all. No. Oh. Rules are made to be broken. Hope this works. Kind of, not really though. Almost be gone. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. Ooh, there we go. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. <laughs> I think I need to get myself a cold character. I think that's what that thing right there is. Do I have one? I don't think I do. No! Wait, I think I need to toss on my team. I think she can heal us. Just for you. Let's rock. Sambo Koski always to heat. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth Come my on, while. Please go off of it. It's getting there more than the last time. That's that's a good sign. Okay, I think we're doing good. Never mind, we're screwed. <laughs> oh no. Um uh She's about to die. Sampo, your game powered up. The show must go on. Sounds like more business knocking. Let's make it quick. One. Take this. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. No, 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 no. <gasps> almost there. Almost there. Almost there. A thousand wonders to raise your spirit. You know what? Sample, you're up Good next. Omens. Just have a try this on for size. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that was literally on the last life. Oh, my God, I did it. Oh, that was so okay, close. Clara? Are you hurt? That was literally it's on the fun. edge. Oh, my God, <laughs> just a few scratches. Oh my god. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. Oh, Clara. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Swarag about it. Speaking as Varg. We were planning on paying him a visit. Uh huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But. Mr. Svarg doesn't like talking to others, especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um, 
I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarov doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarog and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Well, I need to meet for a minute. Sorry about that, I thought I heard someone knock on my door. Okay, continuing on. Eh! Listen, kid, you... <sighs> Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I don't know. I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. God. What? According to his calculation <clears throat> results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? See, as they're returning favor, uh, we have to see him, whatever the cost. Why don't we think uh, of another way? Um... Top or bottom one. How about that one? More peaceful. I was trying to convince Mr. Svarov. Please give me more time. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You'll have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? <laughs> oh, she's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. <laughs> Did you really have to add that last part? Well... It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. Um... If... We can't persuade Clara... <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So what is the starting point? you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. More than a variable. Mm. 
Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. This is a wise idea though, because I'm afraid we'll get into a fight. I'm afraid of that. She turned that way, quick! Now I can use the lift, but what do you know? How the heck did we catch up with her? We were just literally talking and she somehow got to hear just now. Oh, what's this? Oh. <gasps> the imaginary shadow thingies? What is this? Oh. Oh, I can win things from this. Yes! Hmm. Let's change her for right now with... Uh, Natasha. Let's try Natasha out in, in combat. Please give me a thing. Hmm. Defeat all enemies. Alrighty. We need a strategy. I feel like I'm going to die. Wait, why do I have only three people over here? Oh, well, we're going to die. This is already too fast. Hmm. Yeah, no. Mm -mm, no. Let us retreat. <laughs> And let us leave this area. That is too advanced. I am not prepared for that. It is there in case we need it. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that, but okay. Hm, not so far. Rules are made to be broken. Maybe this one. You're welcome. We're just having fun. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Ooh. This is our chance. Good one, Sampo. <laughs> Oh, she can't heal. <gasps> Perfect. Better. Natasha's going to our battles from now on. Hmm. Huh? What is... Whoa. Psychedelic. Natasha heals. She has medic. Ah. I'm an imbecile Ronin, I completely forgot. <laughs> I've been good at Spider-Man puzzles, so I can do this. No, no. She says that she fails instantly. Yes, that's how it works. Looks good. <gasps> got me some thieves, thieves meteor boots. That's what I got. I'm a cowboy. Ooh. 
Where do I go now? Navigation. I lost where I was meant to go. No, no, go down! Yes, thank you. She went this way, I believe. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. Dang it. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. First, before that, I'm going to change my party real quickly. Okay, Natasha's here. Can I upgrade her some more? I'm good off that one. Let's go to characters and upgrade her some more. Lovely Natasha. There we go. Leveling up. Perfectly timed. Ascend. It's her thing right here. Enhanced either way too. No it has not. Wait what is her thing? It looks like leaves. Level up. Yes. That, I think that helped her. Let's do relics. Traces. Perfect. Okay, I did not realize I didn't do these either. Let's see. Those have not been found yet. She is good. Okay. Now, if we're going to battle, she'll be ready. Speaking of. This song's just for you. Seems all of them can be affected by static. Yes! We're just having fun. Try this on for size. Let's go. Hmm. Let's, do, let's take care of these right here. Ooh, ouch. Dang, Natasha, look at that thing. <laughs> wow. Um. Savor the vigor. Whoa. Just having a big gun. Keep up with my tempo. <laughs> Dang, Sampo. Well, that was a great battle. Oh man, I forgot this too. Ready to lose yourself? <laughs> Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Perfectly done. <laughs> I love Serval so much. He's like my Noel in this game right now. <laughs> ah, there's Clara. Okay, right here. Give me a chest first. Looks good. And then Clara. Hmm. Why won't it? Oh, I can't figure it out. Let me do it. I figured out one oh, before. It's you. You came with me after all. We couldn't give up that easily. You're the underground's only hope. You keep saying that, but... Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? You're the just saying you don't have to fix these it. two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damage components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Dang, yeah. Dang. I fixed a lot of things before, but I never He's had a to smart repair boy. one as complicated as this. Why isn't Sparlog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. Oh. 
Was it really an accident? You give a lot about the others. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's Come a on, You've been standing here the whole time. You didn't move. You How'd two. you know? Give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. <laughs> yes, Can these things are fun. This? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. All right. Crack the knuckles, let's do this. Like I said, I'm a pro at the Spider-Man one. Look at that. It lit up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. We, I mean, literal so, sense. I did most of the work. The settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Oops, not got my waterfall. Mm -hmm. Sorry. We're not trying to win you over. Understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. Oh, Clark, adorable. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this. Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Um. Present situation variable. What is a variable again? Alexa, what is a variable? As a noun, variables can have a few meanings. One, something that may or does vary or change, a variable feature or factor. Two, a quantity or function that may assume any given value or set of values. Three, a symbol that represents this. Four, in the functional calculus, a symbol for an unspecified member of a class of things or statements. Uh, that was not dumbed down enough to me, but okay. Alexa, tap your volume a little bit. Getting the selection from Cora's audible library. Alexa, stop. I don't play my audiobook. I don't want to listen to Cersei right now. Where is this the play? Please don't tell me it's still playing. I want to hear it. Alexa, go home. Alexa, turn up the volume. There we go. Alexa, thank you. You really won up the competition. What the heck? <laughs> Enjoy your Wednesday. Okay, Mario. <laughs> Uh, let's just pour out the variable. The variable is... Uh, our arrival! No outsiders set foot in the underground for over a decade! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well... No? Uh... You do look very different from other people. I'm hoping in a good way. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Sparog's calculations. And if those calculations are I just noticed that little drawing detail right there. The Cameras are walking dead. Then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Sparog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the underworld was sealed off. I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Sparog's calculation? Not to mention we're uh we're not even from this planet. There's just no way that Sparog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Yeah, Don't treat we're me like aliens. a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. I don't 
uh, in the other worlds, people have already conquered the heavens. They're not made up. Hey, she and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. I really love the voice acting in this. It's it's really good. You don't want anyone to get hurt in the process. Right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, she are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Hmm. Ronya, I love you. You've already seen our ability. We can bring change to this world. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarok. Really? Thank you. Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarok's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and exactly. fighting, just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. <laughs> well said. <laughs> It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. Branya, you're a lovely, wonderful. Well, screw that. We're going over here. <laughs> Great mine. Here we go. Who can walk when you have teleportation? Am I right? We should not go over there. Wait, what? Oh, I do have to go over here. Oh, Sampo! You scared me. Oh, it's Crocky. You're finally here. Come on, do me a favor. We're such good friends. Ooh, you won't just watch me suffer, right? You, you only come to me when you need help. You think I'm a robot? Wait, hold on. Come on! Am I like that to you? Businessmen like us rely on nothing but trust. Why do I treat you like a robot? No, wait, uh, wait, no, it's good. Uh, auto, auto, auto. No. <laughs> Just do me a favor. I started a mining tool rental business in the mines, but I'm missing a few key tools. I want you to help me find them. How simple is that? Piece of cake, right? The investment cost of this mining tool rental is still very high and not really easy to find a supplier. But I'm not worried about losing money. What matters is that some people really rely on this business to earn money to support their families. What happened here? Well, to put it simply, there were some minor incidents in the mining area earlier. You know what it's like? It's, it was chaos. All the mining tools I bought at a high price were lost, and I was furious. Coincidentally, not long ago, a customer ordered a set of equipment from me. Well, I'll have to go look for it myself, but the situation in the mining area is complicated. I hear there are fragment monsters in some places. Gosh, ordinary people like us can't get close at all. I want to ask if it you for a favor because you have such extraordinary skills and great connections you're much better oh my god is he complimenting me like what's it called smooth smoozing not smoozing what the heck is smoozing um trying to win me over with compliments let me see i lost three mining tools it's a little hard to find them but if you can help me find those three pieces of equipment i'll give you a secret treasure map how about that a very attractive deal for you wouldn't you say uh, can we make, can we make a one? <laughs> treasure map. That sounds like a fraud. <laughs> this treasure map is absolutely real. I re always do business with almost integrity. Don't be fooled by those scoundrels who are just jealous of me simply because I make good money. <laughs> the mining team has a rule that all miners have, must have three pieces of equipment before they can go down to the mine. I can't rent them all, all them out if I don't have all three of them. My dear lady, please get, have sympathy sympathy for me. Um, three is too many. I don't have the time for that. Just one, otherwise forget it. 
I can't get to work with just one. Why don't we discuss this further? I can, I can promise you won't regret working with me. How about this? Help me find two pieces of the mining equipment. I can give you the treasure map. How does that sound to you? As for the missing third tool, heck, I suppose I'll make. I'll have, to, I'll have to fork out a little extra money to rent it from the miners on leave. I don't even know who is on holiday right now. Fine. I knew it. We are such good clue. We are such close mates. I knew you'd help my brother out. Well enough chit chat. Let me see you on the list. There's one called a thermal power mechanical mining pick. This probably said that he lost on the way home from work. Guess it's somewhere around here. This one should be simple. The other one is a customized pink safety helmet. This one is a little complicated. Looks like it got snatched by some vagrants. Might need you to find a way to get back. As we previously agreed, just these two. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> it's a pleasure working with you. Oh, Sampo. You can't just do it yourself. All the way over there? Screw that. <gasps> How dare you! And we got the thingy right there. We got, what's it called? Ambush. I'm forgetting words at the moment. Forget me. Just in time. Oh, what is this? Just a little something. Do they have a zoom in our chest right there? <laughs> Think nothing of it. <sighs> Ready to jam. Oh. Hmm. Keep up. It's my tempo. Sounds like I don't think that did anything. <laughs> Whether Sampo knows or not, he's still fighting it with the me. customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. This is our chance. Take this! All done. Woo. That was the chair, was not me. Was I seeing what up? You know, I used to be an adventure like you, but it took an hour to me. <laughs> I want to play Skyrim, dang it. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume. We're just having fun. <laughs> and done. That was fast. On that one round at least. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Hmm. <laughs> Sampo Koski always takes care of. <laughs> really? Take this. All right, we did it. That took forever. All of this for a dang tool. Ugh, you. Oh. Who are you? Why didn't you give me a proper greeting? Don't you know the rules around here? I hear you're a tough guy, aren't you? Snatching other people's helmets. <laughs> what do you mean by snatching helmets? I pick it off the ground. Do helmets grow from the ground now? Quit messing around. This is Sampo's helmet. Sam- Who? I don't even know who that is. Don't try to blackmail me. This is my turf. So stay out of it. Ah, oh, I get it. You're here to pick a fight with me, aren't you? The fancy fisticuff. <laughs> I always want to say fancy fisticuff. Keep up. It's my tempo. We're just having fun. Mm. Try this on for size. Let's go. Yeah, that ain't doing much damage right there. Ugh. Rules are made to be broken. All right, I did it. Customized, <laughs> customized pink safety helmet. <laughs> I'm sorry, that seems like a adorable little thing he would want to like not mention for some reason.
And I think I can just find it here. Sampo, really? You could literally just walk over here and find it yourself, you imbecile. Because some mining tools left standing on the ground. The rust stains on the ground seem to be a result of miners dragging their tools all the way home over the years. The mess of mining tools obscures if you pick from you. It would be difficult to spot at first glance. It seems what Sampo said earlier was true. Well, what do you know? Such a high profile color. Wait a minute. There seems to be a name written on the helmet. Peak? So Peak is Sampo's supplier? Whatever. None of my business. I should head back to Sampo and collect the reward. Or is this all stolen? Is he taking stolen stuff? I don't know. No, no. Get, get off that. Back so soon? How's it going? Did you find those two mining help tools? I got what you wanted. Wow, so efficient. I'm sh I sure can't find anyone better than you in the sun of the world. Not even with the help of a geomero lamp. Let me check the goods and make sure they're what I'm looking for. Uh, what the color that you need? Do you even need a double check? <laughs> Come on, it's just procedure. Don't take it so seriously. As I said, I do the same even if we're dealing with the Supreme Guardian. Um, yeah. They're indeed the real deal. These are exactly the two mining tools I'm looking for. Here you go. Be sure to take care of the good treasure. Take good care of the treasure map. Just follow the mark on it. You'll be sure to find yourself surprised. Oh my god, it's a little treasure map. <laughs> uh, the treasure map looks decent, but the details are questionable. Is this map legit? <laughs> of course it's legit. Just go dig out the treasure and see for yourself. If you don't believe me, I promise there will be some good stuff. Relax, all the treasure maps in the underworld look like this. There's no way I could be wrong. Just trust me on this. Alright, alright, alright. Time for you to go get the treasure hunting. I'll be waiting for you to get for your good news. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna be finding. I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, let's see what the haze uh this map is. Hold on a minute. It's inventory. Here it is. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I think it's right here. What is this? A gas mask? Wait a minute. There's some characters engraved on it. Peak. This guy again. Mining tools. Peak. Set of three. Darn it. Sample fooled me again. That unscrupulous merchant. Now I have to go back and deal with him. So I was Our right. What was he that? stole the stuff, didn't he? Was I seeing things? Yes, you're seeing things. Shut it. What does Sampo do? Oh! Luckily they're too slow to react to that. Why didn't I just fast travel? I just never realized that. And those three mining tools, why don't you do something? Hey, how's it going? Did you find a treasure? This is what you call treasure? Um... Did he make me go find the third one, which he said was treasure? He just tricked it to be that way so I could find a third item, didn't he? That B. Think about it. Aren't these three pieces of mining tools the real treasure to be minder? It is. He tricked me. That total, the total amount of value that can be reduced by these pieces of equipment is surely what any treasure that I know of. Hey, calm down. Take it easy. No need to get a physical with me. We can just talk it over. What are you talking about? Can you deal with my problem first? I have a shift tomorrow. I can't sleep without the mining equipment. Or, I mean, I, I can't work without the... 
Wait, sleep with it. Relax, see, our beautiful Crocky has brought it for you, hasn't she? You're not treating me like a robot, huh? I've saved you twice, Peek. Wait. Oh, it's you, the outsider sent by Natasha. <gasps> it's that lazy guy, isn't it? Isn't it? Thank you so much. If not for you, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to sleep for a whole month. What, you two already know each other? Well, if I knew this in the first place, I wouldn't have spent so much effort trying to fool. <laughs> oh, I mean, nothing. <laughs> you see, Peek, I always keep my promises. Alright, here's a gas mask, which means you got all your mining tools now. Hey, the the cost of finding things to, has to be included in the agency fee, but since we're such good friends, I will only charge you 30% more this time, okay? 30%? Alright. Wait, let me see if I got any change. So you work together to get to scam me. Hey, don't say it like that. Just just let me explain. The mining equipment rental business I told you about before is real. I've asked many people and I realized Peak worked only one day a week in the grain mine. Um, I mean, what do you mean by only worked one day? I am actually busy with my other businesses. Resting three days before starting another day of work can help me work more efficiently. I don't know if it's guy. So anyway, when you are not working at a job, um, or should I say when you are in between your jobs, your mining tools are just sitting there. So that idea came to me. Why don't you collaborate with me to rent out those tools so we can make some good money together? Indeed, you are right, Sampo. You are really one of the businessmen, business acumen? It was only after I sorted out all the sound in my head that I learned this guy has somehow managed to lose all three pieces of his precious equipment. You see, I'm a businessman, not a scavenger. I'm not all interested in this sort of scavenger job, so naturally I immediately thought of you. <laughs> Can I punch you now? <laughs> yeah. Calm down, calm down. Look, I have a genuine treasure map right here for you. I've been taking such good care of this precious, uh, precious of mine. You see, the former owner of this treasure map turned out to have quite the tragic story. Once upon a time, there was this old miner who betrayed all his friends just to get his hands in this map. Unfortunately, not long after, one of his friend's daughters came for revenge and killed him. Oh my god, that's just, it's getting dark now. <laughs> I seem to have heard a colleague telling me a similar story. I've never- wait, this is- this is peak so reading this. I seem to be heard, heard a colleague tell me a similar story. I never guess the treasure had fallen to your hands. You sure have your ways. I think he's just buttering up to him. <laughs> you flatter me. I'm just gifted with the insight to do such good business, that's all. So I think you can trust me now. If you lie to me again, <laughs> or, yeah, I'll just do that. I wouldn't dare no more. Fool you once, shame on you. Fool you twice. <laughs> I won't do it again, I swear. <laughs> well, Peek has his tools back. My renting business can continue, and you got your treasure map. I bet we can say this is a win-win-win situation. Something seems to be off, but it sounds perfectly reasonable, Sample. You truly are a smart fellow. If you don't mind, I'd like to discuss some confidential business with Peek. What are you waiting for to find a treasure? I told Clara not to be too nice and have people use you, and look what I just did. <laughs> Dang it. Now let's look at the actual real um, map for once. This one's real. Under that thingy. Hmm? Wait, what? So under here? No, this is the wrong way. One minute. Holy heck, um, uh, is there another way to go around this? <laughs> no, there's not. Let's see if I can run. Was I asking for trouble, huh? No, no. Could this thing be? Oh, wait a minute. 
think I know where. It's down there. There's the treasure. Thankfully, I have in endless stamina. I could have seriously just travel down here. Why didn't I just do that? This way. Oops, wrong way. Go this way. And I believe this is a treasure. <gasps> yeah! Arr, I found treasure. I believe. I think. Yep, that was it. I did treasure. <laughs> Does that mean I have some more stuff to buy? Oh man, ten more. Man, dang it. Enter Sparrow's base with Clara's help. Did I not already do that? I could have sworn I did. <laughs> Clear memories, stage one of the Forgotten Hall. What is that? What is the memory stage of the Forgotten Hall? What the heck is this? This is all missions. Hmm. The repeater. What is this thing? Security department staff. To rot or to burn? You know what? Let's just carry on with the main story part. Let's do that. The navigation. We might. Emails look crazy over here. Thanks. Okay. I'm back, Timmy. Oh, Timmy the robot. Oh, crap. Welcome back, Miss Clara. <laughs> Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Sparrow. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Be your Command guys. received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Thank you. Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. I'll try. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Uh, uh, hold on a minute. I need to mute for just a second. I think someone just knocked on my door again. I am back and forth with this. Hold on.
Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Let's do this now. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. But well, now ready? we can say we've tried. Let's go see Svar Svarog. I'm forgetting his name. Let's progress the story! <laughs> I'm excited. Oh dang, he's just right there, isn't he? I'm back, Mr. Svarog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. Uh, I don't know how to do that. We're not interested in stoking conflict. We're here about the future. The underground, to be or not to be, that is... <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Why the most random, most, most, uh, weirdest thing right there? Uh... There we go. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Well? Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Okay, okay. Uh, um... He cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. How do I do that? Don Hong, say the thing. We're here about the stellar run. Do you know about the stellar run? Oh, we're, we're a variable. <laughs> See, this is my sentence right here. I would do it. We're a variable. <laughs> Don't kill us, please. Stellar run. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing stellar run with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing Maybe? targets. What? Threat index raised. No, no, I demand no. that you reveal your true intention. No. As expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Um. No, no, I live in a bottom one. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage no. with the Stellaron. No. Without exception. No. These efforts have been motivated by human no. attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. No. As instructed by the architects. Any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will what? result in grave consequences. No! Reassessing. Target threat index critical. No. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. I can't help it, Marsh. No one say anything else. <laughs> Your powers of calculation suck. <laughs> We're not like the others. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. You look like an evil version of uh, Al from uh, Full Alchemist. Extermination? Wait, what? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. No. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara. Dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring automaton Svara. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Sorry, what? Annihilation permitted. <laughs> okay, this probably could have been uh, avoided, but I am horrible at talking. I'm gonna annihilate you, Ready B. To lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. 
Well, it did something. Here to crash the party. Natasha needs to heal. Very bad. Sampo Koski always takes care. Let's make it quick. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Oh, that did a lot. Wow. Let's go. Oh, let's do Q because Natasha needs to heal us. Naughty children, don't listen. You know what? Uh, I'll heal myself. <laughs> Poor servo, I'm sorry. Executing operation. Uh, that hurt. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. <sighs> Ready Ooh. to jam. Um. Keep up with my tempo. Can we Sounds keep up like with the more tempo? more business knocking. <laughs> There we go. This is our chance. You're in bad shape. That barely did anything. Analysis complete. <gasps> oh, Lord, no. What happened? <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battle? You're already here, Natasha. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. You were literally there already. It's Sam, what you do? How did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. <laughs> Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Oh man. This Executing is not good. Nope. Rules are made to be broken. Two and four. Okay. And let's go. Just in time. If we know, actually cancel this. Um. No, I should have saved that. Um, can I cancel this in any way? No. Nope. Okay. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Oh, it's candy or anything. Cool. Ready it's to lose it. yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. For now we're gonna save Natasha's for when we're dying. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Calculating results. Yeah, let's Sampo. Even after that one scam he did. Here to me. crash the party. Turn up the volume. Hmm. Take this. <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of life. We're just having fun. Mm, let's do Q. <laughs> Probably should have done E. Reinforcing. Value exchange threshold. Iron giant E. Oh <laughs> Lord. High risk individual. <laughs> Servo! No. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta say Servo. No. Don't let. This right here. Shoot this. You're in bad shape. Try this on for size. Just a scratch. Executing operation. It's funny how very fast I say that. <laughs> it's just a scratch. Don't worry. Let's make it quick. Take this. <laughs> Please. What are you oh, for? Servo's back, thank god. The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Calculating result. Uh, that hurt. Well, we're doing the power now. <laughs> Rules 
are made to be broken. This is an intense battle. I have to actually think smart with this. Let's some strike. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> think nothing of it. Much better. Analysis complete. That barely killed any of us. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. There we go. That'll take more than nap time. Let's go. This song's just for you. Yeah. <laughs> Try this on for size. Here we go. We're getting there. Oh, we're dying. <laughs> Executing operation. It'll take more than that. <laughs> Time for a oh, shot. Oh, oh. You're in we'll kill them. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Bam, bam. Koski always takes the heat. Push forward. No, not you again. Value exchange threshold. <laughs> healing time. Healing time. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Ready Where'd Sample go? Sample. <gasps> Sample! No. Oh, great. Let's now they got our healer. Oh, oh, no. This is not good. Rules are made to be broken. You got saved, you're welcome. <gasps> Calculating result. <sighs> Screw you. This song's just for you. And we win. <laughs> Heck yes. Please don't tell me we killed him. No, 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 Dasha. No, no, no. Wait. Clara, you, Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please, please don't hurt him. Claire, Ra. Oh, die! I didn't mean to kill him. Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. <laughs> Your willing like, words. Like family. Recently, I can't hear anything over Sparrow's clunkiness. <laughs> calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful. He's seriously loud in my ear. I still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one. Clara's request. Variable two. I'm a variable. Outsider's intentions. I'm a Beelzebub. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders. Granted access to stellar one intelligence. Thank goodness. So, so we did it. I guess that cost was too great. Clara seems like the only one who can break through Svarog's cold logic. It's a good thing she was here. Thank God. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire, the underworld. Did, did we win? Not yet. No, Zila. Our battle, their battle. It's just beginning. Finally. Finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. 
but I do have an aching feeling in my chest. That does not sound good. Talk to Natasha. Uh, only one side can be lying. It's up to you to make your own judgment now. The truth is, can be heartbreaking. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Well, half the Wizard of Oz. Cool, what the heck was that one? Is that an achievement? Yeah, it was. What was it? For to beat the Tin Man and the Little Girl. Oh, the Tin Man. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wait, and there's another one? Oh. That's all of them. Here we go. The truth. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Yes, let's have it. Requesting database materials cache, serial number 13175, encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. I see what you did there, Mihoyo. <laughs> One voice actress from Snow White with the red hair. Number one three one seven five. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number two four eight three zero. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day. Is this the same guy? He sounds like he's dying right there. Cash number 204830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cash number 57614. This is. Why is there a robot here? Whoa. During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistant. Swag! That's who it it's was. Remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh. I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. 
Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? <sighs> it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, Madam. I'm sorry, Doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the Architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. I didn't understand any so, of that. What has to go to Zora? So, now, right? I know, I understand that part. They're, they're looking for things to destroy it, but no offense, that wasn't really much things are there to be highly confidential. They pretty much just said, you know what guys, we should really find a way to destroy the Stellaron. And then that's it. <laughs> and it just kept on passing on to where it's like, well we need to keep finding the research for it. And so the doctor died with the thingy, the robot are here, to Swarog. Witnessed the whole thingy and he kept the memories as a secret for some reason, which to me wasn't really that confidential. <laughs> uh, can someone go over again? <laughs> Let's do that one. It would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Mm hmm. Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. Branya? This must be taking a lot. Wait, this would be a lot for you to take in. Why? Why, mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't sorry, aware. Maybe my, she. Sorry, my chair is really creaky. I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> hey, can I have a word with you? Sure. I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. What plan do we do? Mr. Svarov, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Aww. Claire. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of defense combat data intact. Geomero development group error records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs <laughs> intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior intact. <laughs> So your memory module is okay. I have oh made God. a backup of all records she pertaining sleeping to you, in rule thingy. Do not worry. Even the one about sleeping in? <laughs> there are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Sparrow, can I delete some of them? <laughs> I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. Delete her internet history. <laughs> they are memories of family. Oh. I understand. Forget that. That's adorable. Mr. Sparrow, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. I love them. They're adorable. The furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Your support came at the right moment. Thank you. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel... Sampo, I want to give you a big hug. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're Wait, what? The chief? what? What about Oleg? I thought it was Oleg. I just never realized what she just said. Oh! <gasps> Natasha's been awesome! 
Thanks to him, I'm able Strong to Strong lady to leader person. I Heck do my yeah. best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. You're welcome. All in a day's work for a hero. <laughs> We did it for us. It wasn't as selfless as you made out. Any chances of more tangible show up things? Let's do this one. <laughs> when the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. Awesome. However, well, like even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded supreme guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated oh, from man. the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. With things as they are, you want to take a back seat? No, but we need to wait for the opportune moment. In the meantime, I'm sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. <gasps> Didn't she? Zila? In private, she insisted on accompanying me. Oh, what do you know? Nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Heck yes. Not to mention, you also have Bronya now. I actually do. I have Bronya. Will she stand with us? It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. That's hey, cheering on me. <laughs> when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Uh, good Health question. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. Natasha's the only one acknowledging my sleep Perhaps pattern. <laughs> tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Oh, the seriousness of breakfast. <laughs> what the heck is this? Work on characters, path of this. That is adorable. He pom pom. Oh my god, pom pom. Uh, the table is set. Someone take a, uh, wants a cup of tea first. Some people want to take a picture first. Some people want to read a newspaper first. Some people want to write a page in a book first. Some people want to play their phone first. All of you eat while the food is hot. <laughs> Well, dang indeed, Ronan. What the hey is? I'm scared to go to bed because I usually have weird nightmares. So I'm scared of that. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh, okay. I was like, am I getting Sila? Oh my god. Wait, I think, either, I think either way I'm getting her, actually. Ah, I was getting excited there for a minute, man. Dang it. I get her either way after the beta test anyways, so. Oh, good enough. To better understand what we did provided the best thing. Oh, it's about the survey. I gotta fill another survey thing. Okay. Let's do another one. Awesome, you got a constellation. Yeah, I got that at least. Press start. Start. Here we go. Overall impression regarding Honkai Star Rail. Very satisfactory. In terms of experience, how do you feel about each of the following uh, as aspects? Aspects. Combat, it is very satisfactory. Exploration, yes. Story, yes. Graphics and art. Making team lineups. Uh, I haven't had anything. Upgrade experience, getting characters that process and upgrading them. I'm fine with it. UI design, how intuitive info was presented, how many easy the controls are, etc. I haven't experienced anything of, of bad things, so yeah. Uh, follow the game areas and overall feelings to process of it. Let's, uh, feelings of that's what they're meaning. Okay. Yes, yes, and yes. Yeah, little did I know, I actually looked at this earlier and I didn't realize I was spoiling a mission for me. 
so thankfully I didn't pay attention to the, the big pictures of it. The art design, I really like it. More question of boss fight. I thought it was really great. Further questions or suggestions? Let's see. Um, what was I had something that I bet at the end of the survey this is a text box for specific suggestions from you. Yeah, you're right, Ronan. Do you guys have any recommendations as you're putting this and everything? Like, I can't really think of any. I had something to say earlier, but I couldn't remember what it was. Um, it had something to do with the character. Other than just the running style that I don't really like because it seems so choppy and janky half the time and everything. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else bad about the game. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even put that down. Yeah, I can mention. Uh, how do I how do I phrase that more better? <laughs> um, maybe fix the animation of the running. Maybe. Uh, I can recommend. Oh God, I cannot spell. Recommend. On wait a minute. All right. Alexa, how do you spell recommend? Recommend is spelled R E C. Oh. M M E N D. Drawing animation is choppy when in open world. Thank you, Ronan. And thank you again for that. Uh, I'm horrible at spelling right now, but thank you. I reckon I mean, the running animation is choppy. And. Oh, okay, when in open world. When in the open world. Period. There we go. I think that's good enough to recommend for all of this. It, does the beta actually end tomorrow, Ronan? It ends on Rhea's birthday. There. Huh. What do you know? Oh, 24th. Okay, so not, not that time. Then go back on that and go back on there and we got the thingy. That's so great. They give me 30,000 credits. How rich am I actually? I'm going to see that. Delete all. Claim all. Delete red. There we go. Well, let me see how rich I am. It would be in inventory, I think. Wow, look at that. <laughs> 38,000. Oh, no, sorry. 389,526 credit. Is that what the tweet said? Oh. Yeah, someone was in chat earlier and everything. They said something about ending tomorrow, though. I am pretty rich right now. <laughs> like, uh, I'm pretty rich also on uh, with Mora and Genshin right now. I had like over 19, 100, 900 and something, I think. It was hard to count it. I, I bought so many ingredients for foods and stores. <laughs> I was just like, I'm buying the whole stock. <laughs> I bought everything pretty much. Uh, go over... Uh, Oh, not good with farewells. That means I can finally do the thing in the dungeon after this. I am... God, right here. There we go. Boulder Town. Go to here. I cannot travel there. There we go. It's just ever since that last time I fell asleep, we got attacked. I'm afraid to go to sleep now. In this world. <laughs> Where to now? That air seems to heat up suddenly and the sticky wind grips at your ankles. Uh, leaving you feeling intuitively uncomfortable. Equilibrium mutters a low, emotionless voice. Another voice echoes as if in symphony. The universe should be in equilibrium. Am I dreaming again? The arbitrators at equilibrium are going to give you a trial. Many echoes would continue. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your power. The strong will be given great opportunities and the weak a chance to breathe. In a live stream for Star Rail, it's also on the 24th. <gasps> oh dang, I completely forgot about that. I need to make sure I get to that. You have passed the trial and your strength is shaking the scales of power, the voice said. The world will no longer be as it was once. 
But from henceforth, it will be an equilibrium. You will now encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. I think what they're saying right here is I'm finally going to the real game. Equilibrium, the voice keeps repeating. You will face yet more trials in days to come. Please explain human language. <laughs> Can I refuse this trial? Just to be clear, what are the benefits? <laughs> These are all valid questions for this. Um... What are the benefits? You'll obtain more, the voice said. More of the materials, more spiritual. More of which, of that which is countable, and more of that which is me measurable. What is gained will be in the proportion to your power, and thus will be in equilibrium. Yeah. Um, dynamic difficult. <laughs> the voice does not answer. <laughs> of course. Alright then, for the... Equilibrium. <laughs> Equilibrium. You need to take the hint of approval from the emotion of the stone. This is for this that all the worlds will be changed. <laughs> I don't find it adorable. <laughs> okay, I get equilibrium level one. Sleepy time! Uh, now that we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally yeah. look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go. Hey, we tried, March. I kept on actually saying the wrong thing. Uh, Sparog attacked first. I was unable to persuade Sparog. You tried your best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And it was Svarog who attacked first. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't true. mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. Yeah, kinda. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance, where's Estelaron? What does Kakolia have something to do with this? Have been for us. <laughs> Who is this sample character? <laughs> I'm so tempted to press on that. Um, I really want to press on it. That. Uh, that's <laughs> not of foremost concern. Yes, What's it is. What's important is that we still don't have the exact location and coordinates of the Stellaron, nor have we figured out the reason behind Kokolia's sudden change in attitude. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Actually, I'm having some dreams. Dreams? Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Telling Don Hong in March 7th about the voice he heard in recent dreams. Hmm. All three dreams were the same. With Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm yeah, wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there is some meaning behind them. Hmm. Maybe you're having them because... Because of... The Stellaron inside her? <gasps> that's my hunch. But I have Whoa. no proof. Oh, well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. I suppose not heinous. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. I don't want to go to sleep. Also, <laughs> There's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia oh, may be the key yeah. to cracking this mystery. Okay, here you go. Oh, you're back. How did it go? Are you tired? How did Oleg, Oleg treat you? He's nice to us. Ah, oh, that's true. Although Oleg usually looks quite serious, he takes good care of everyone. You must be exhausted after running down the whole day. 
Take a rest in your room. I'll bring the food over when it's ready. You're very nice. <laughs> you're very welcome. We're all friends now that you're staying in the Goeth. I don't know how to pronounce that. Grand Hotel. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. How did you find the bed and pillow? Uh, and then what about the room temperature? Is the current Geo Mero furnace working fine? If you need anything, please let me know. We would like to have a rest. You're back. Oh my god, again. They always that do this to me. <laughs> was Farag. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. I suppose it would be good to get some sleep. <gasps> Dang it, I was hoping I could go into the closet again. <laughs> was that just a one time thingy? Dang it. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna like this. A wave of tiredness comes over you. Uh, reminding you that you haven't rested in a long time. Even the most terrible dream won't wake you up this time. I doubt that. Something will wake me up. <gasps> over there. See that? Oh, this pretty tied together. That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. And it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of ten, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. <laughs> uh, that sounds nice. Doesn't sound nice. nice. Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Uh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? She's so much a cinder, eh? What I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying etiquette lessons and training every day all i hear is remember who you are bronya this is against the architect's admonishments bronya ladies shouldn't use such foul language bronya dang it i shall use mine <laughs> some may envy this kind of life but i have felt trapped when every choice and every goal has already been made for you I can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language were you using? <laughs> In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Wow, that, that is not what I was expecting to hear. <laughs> No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. I mean, it would be a surprise attack to poke someone's nostril. That would stun them enough for you to give them a blow. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silver Main veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. Beautifully said, Bronya. We reach the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided, when we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is. 
very important to me. Aww. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me? And why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Mm -mm. You... Uh, hold on. You're not really going, no. are you? Uh, alone? No. You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. Not a smart idea, Bronya. Yeah. No. Never change. Mm -mm. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... <sighs> Bronya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If if I am unable to see you again, no. they'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this. If you run into trouble... I will come to save you, no matter what. Oh. Then I'll be waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> They're besties. So, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. Oh, they're just very tied together. I love this. <laughs> Was a good sleep. My character's actually talking. <laughs> ah, I love it. Ooh, a lot of the music too. What is this? Did it save? I really hope it saved. Because I'm gonna probably have to call the night for right now. I did three hours worth of this. I did not expect to do this much story, dang it. That's so great. Well, let me check real quickly have only three and two. <gasps> go store, go store, go store, go store. Yes. <laughs> now I have four. I'm just tempted just to pull the thingy for this wishes, but wait, hold on, where's it? Here it is. I'm tempted to do it. Like, just to do four of them right here, but mm, guarantees a four star above me, but I don't want to risk it, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'll just keep racking it up. You know what? I think I'm going to take, uh, just a good... I'll do this tomorrow morning again. And then later tonight, I'll be helping celebrate Rhea's birthday, hopefully. If I can get there in time. I'm not going to... I really hope I will be able to make it in time for Rhea's birthday. To celebrate and play some games with them and Sappy. I can't wait to celebrate it. I will hopefully be able to spend the whole night with them as much as I can. I will really, literally try my best. <laughs> You know, I'll probably get three hours into it. We good. Oh, perfect! I can read Sappy then. Wait, wait. I mean, celebration? Are they celebrating right now? Please don't tell me I missed it. It's the twenty third. I know it's the twenty third. Kitchen right now. Perfect. Here we go. 
perfect. Well, let's raid Safi right now. I will hopefully be on again tomorrow morning. No worries, Ronan. Aw, oh, dang it, ads. What was I gonna say? I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I will be definitely on tomorrow morning again. I'll be playing some more Honkai Star Rail because I really want to play some more of this and I'm, just, I'm really back into this game. Welcome back, Ronan. And then later tomorrow night, I will be celebrating Rhea's birthday with Sappy in the collab stream to do a celebration of her birthday. I can't wait for that. Ah, I can't wait. I really hope that she'll be enjoying it, everyone else too and everything. It's gonna be great. And I hope we all have so much fun and she has so much fun. Me. Ooh, if maybe anything, maybe I can also uh, give donate some money to her birthday thing too. I, I have some money, so I will actually do it. I will donate some to her birthday. I'll do that as my little gift. But anyways, let's go raid Safi. If anyone in chat doesn't know who Saf Prince Safi is and everything, they're lovely. And as I always say, if you like me, you'll like them definitely. I'm going to say that's my tagline now for this. <laughs> and uh, no copyright. Or hopefully for no one else. But you know what I mean. Let's go raid Safi. Good night, everyone. Thank you all for lovely lizards who stopped by, supported, chatted, all that junk. I appreciate all you lovely lizards always. I'm going to ramble this as always, but... Oh, God. I, now I'm saying as always instead of, as it. You know what? Let's go right. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Ronan, for doing that. That helps my rambling cut short. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Let's go right. No. Peace. I feel like I'm stuck. Like the chair's stuck. Hold on. Having chair issues. Oh!